Hello everyone. I was uh, requested to do a digital art um, video. So I'm doing a quick one here with the two different uh, apps that I've used. I've used the Rebel app, which is beautiful and gorgeous, but takes up a whole lot of space on whatever um, device you're using. It's expensive, but I still really enjoyed it. Now I'm using Procreate. I can use it straight on my iPad. I suggest that if you are a serious artist or you'll be using drawing daily, such as I am, you want to get the most uh, memory you can. At first, when I started using these, I didn't really see the point of the layers. I wasn't sure, you know, being a traditional artist, I didn't know what the layers were for. But I've uh, since learned a little bit about the layers and how they can be a lot of fun. Um, and if you want to like experiment with something, you just slap on a new layer, see how it looks. If you don't like it, you delete the layer. On this drawing or slash painting, I was using um, an old sepia tone picture of me from when I was in high school. Just a little fun, just like, oh, I wonder if I could look like this again in my imagination. So <laughs> I created myself. Um, and I just started using the media sort of traditionally, like I had before. I tried fitting the photo in there to see if I was getting it accurate, and um, I couldn't get it to match up, so I thought, well, I'll just go with it. And I used this a lot like I would my normal materials, you know, putting down some value, blending it out, using my eraser for highlights, that sort of thing. This, the general um, rules of drawing still do really apply here, where you put your lights and darks. Here you can see that it looks a little bit lighter. It's because I've added a new layer and I have reduced the opacity of the layer I was drawing on because I didn't want it to distract from where I was trying to add the color. I'm really fair skinned, so it takes me a while sometimes to blend out that color to find the right one or it's not too peachy or, or too white. I have to find a good balance. And then I go in with my red hair, I put down a, a flat color and then I start adding in some highlights and then something really cool happened. I realized that Procreate has um, a brush called short hair. <laughs> so I started using that and I really loved it and um, again those same rules apply if you're using traditional materials. You want to make sure that your textures are right and also your values are in the right place. Whenever you're drawing hair next to the scalp or around the nape of the neck, it's going to be darker. So you have to put those darker values in there. I'm still learning a lot um, with Procreate. It's still new to me. I've been using it less than a year. Um, and I'm really having a lot of fun with these explorations. I love using the symmetry apps and, and some of the other brushes I'll talk to you about later. But I just wanted to show you how neat it is to use layers. Because like I said, I did the sepia tone and then I started on the, the color layer. And then I thought, hey, what would happen um, if I drew myself with blonde hair? So I decided to add another layer. So I kept this layer, but I um, I took it, I just like, checked it off so it wouldn't be showing, and I went back to the sepia tone, and I'm not on the sepia tone, I am on another layer. I guess I decided to get back in and do some editing. Um, on another layer, and then you'll see where I start to change my hair color. always making adjustments. I think it's important for new and young artists to see people that have been doing it a while. We make mistakes and we make corrections and that's just part of the process. Not sure what I was thinking with the emo uh, mascara running down the cheeks there, but I did. Maybe I was feeling frustrated. And here I started adding in the blonde um, with that short hair brush and you know you got to value changes in there and Sometimes it's going to be blendy, you know, you're going to be very um, aware of those textures. On the last layer, I decided to see what it would be like if I had long hair. Now, I've had long hair before, um, but not straight long hair. My hair is pretty curly. So I thought, well, this would be fun. Let's stick with the red, um, put some highlights in there. And this one, I got to use the flowing hairbrush, which was really exciting and fun. And then I started playing around with the... Um, the opacity of these layers and also there is a, an option called a, a gradient map where you can um, put a certain le um, set of colors on there and it will adjust them to uh, 
the different values and uh, areas of the work. So I did that and it was kind of fun. I enjoyed doing it. I hope you guys like this. More coming later.